they have too much work to do a quality job. If we want to fix Congress, we have to fix the issue of staff capacity. I'm in a long list of things that we can do. We're starting with fixing the E, dear colleague, uh, letter system. Uh, so voting is only one way that members of Congress can actually do their jobs well. Um, with the increase of partisanship in the Congress, um, members of Congress have to look at new ways to be able to actually find solutions to problems. Members of Congress will very often send an official letter to a uh, government agency or even to a private business asking them to do or not do something. Uh, when they do this, they want to build support in the Congress before they send the letter, so they ask their colleagues, their other members of Congress, to sign on to the letter. So there's currently an e-dear colleague system, electronic system, that allows members to send to small groups uh, of members uh, currently in the U.S. Congress, but the system needs to be improved. So we're going to go over the challenges. Um, this is a representative of a member of Congress getting asked, did you sign on to a letter? Well, the member doesn't know because there's currently no archive and no database in the e-dear colleague system. So congressional staff and members don't even know very often the record of the member on some of the issues. And this is the congressional staff flipping out after their <laughs> member has asked them to find, to find the letter. Again, because congressional staff pay is so low, because the hours are long, um, there's staff turnover. And usually when there's turnover, that means records are lost. And next, these are actually members of Congress talking to each other. So this is one member saying, hey, did you get my letter? The other one saying, no, we didn't get the letter out because we're still waiting to get physical signatures, which is an issue. And then here are members saying, hey, did you get my letter? And the other members are saying, hey, well, this isn't something I'd ever sign on. So we need better data to be able to get them to do their jobs. And that would... Okay, so our proposal, um, two parts. One, we need a public-facing website. The second is a private-facing um, internal system. So on the public side, the easier calling public listserv is a way for people outside of the Beltway to see actually what's happening in Congress in real time. In D.C., uh, eager colleagues, even though they are internal, are very often forwarded out. Uh, this is a good way to know what's happening on the Hill. It's also a way to be able to see right now what members, have, what members has their members signed on to, what is...